What's up gamers, Tadger Dan here with the Uber Noobs and I've got another seven days to die video here for you. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about farming. And as you can see here, open this up, I'm actually in a desert biome. Uh, so farming is a little bit more difficult and that's because I have to import my dirt. So, a few things that you need is that you need dirt blocks. And as you can see here, I've got some grassy ground and you can make the dirt blocks from dirt fragments by digging in other regions. Let's go ahead and click here and you say, you know, grassy ground. And you can see it takes 12 dirt fragments to make one dirt block essentially so that you can actually place it. Let me just craft that. All right, now, another thing that you're gonna need is of course you need a water source for your plants. And then the last part, and I'm gonna show you the difference of what happens, is that you're gonna want fertilizer. And you're also gonna want a hoe, which I have equipped, and then some seeds. You can see here I got some potato seeds, some corn seed, and some blueberry seeds. So I've got this one here, and I've got that other one over there that I'm gonna make here in a second. And I'm going to show you something. This one, I'm just going to use the dirt. Just straight grassy ground, work with the hoe. And then on the other one, I'm actually going to plant, use fertilizer to turn it into fertile soil. And I'm going to show you the difference in the output between the two. So let's go ahead and hoe this. And we'll plant some corn on this one. Just right click. And we're gonna work that one. Again, right clicking. And we'll plant some potatoes. And then here on the end, we'll plant some blueberries. So let's go ahead and work this ground. You got left click to destroy the grass. And here, I'm not gonna hoe it at all. I'm just gonna plant, see what happens. All right, so now I've got a block of dirt that I've prepped with the hoe. And I've got a block of dirt that is uh, still just grassy dirt with the grass still on there and the plants growing. Now we're going to go over to here. Get rid of that grass. I'm going to plant the same thing here. And I'm going to need six more dirt. And for your water supply, of course, you need a bucket. Uh, you're gonna have to craft a bucket or you can find one. And then get out to a water source, river, lake, stock pond, flooded house, whatever it may be, uh, and fill the bucket up by right clicking. All right, and that grass grew back already, go away. All right, let's go ahead and throw some water in there. Again, right clicking. Let's go ahead and get this fertilizer equipped. Now, I believe it's got to hoe. And then fertilize. <sighs> you 
You can see the ground's changed color dramatically. So I'm going to go ahead and I want to plant blueberries there. And then I'm going to plant my last four corn here. I'm going to go over I'm going to work this side. Again, you see I'm not doing anything with the fertilizer. I'm just hoeing and it's taking it out for me. Working each field block twice. All right, there we go. We got some fertile dirt. I'm just going to plant the last of my potato seeds here. One there. One there to see if the diff the distance from the water supply makes any difference. Alright, so there you go. These are planted. Um, plants, I believe, are, are two to three days. So we'll come back. Today's day 83. So we'll come back around day 86 and see how the garden's doing. Okay, so here we are. Uh, evening of day 86. Um, so it's, it's technically now about 72 hours since we planted everything, which, you know, three days, but uh, actually a, a full 72 hours in game time. And you can see the plants are ready to harvest. Now, we've got the potatoes here and the corn that were planted straight in the grass that wasn't hoed. And we got a one-to-one -one on those items. And here we've got the, the grass that we worked with the hoe without any fertilizer. And the corn gave us three, potatoes gave us two. Let's see what the blueberries did. Um, blueberries gave us two. We go over here to the fertile. Off on an attitude challenge, what's that? Um, and we've got four potatoes, four blueberries, and five ears of corn out of the fertile field. So fertilizer definitely makes farming much more effective and again, it only takes three days. So uh, worst case scenario, at least use a hoe on the dirt. And that will yield you a higher crop output. But your best, absolute best, is to have some fertilizer also to make fertile soil to get a huge crop output. Uh, you know, five ears of corn versus, what was it over here, three? Yeah, three. So, and, and of course, I could take those five ears, make five seeds, and plant five more uh, corn stalks just from one stalk of corn. So there you go. Make sure you don't plant straight onto anything. Now, granted, corn can be planted anywhere. You can plant it on, I, I don't know if it's still got the bug of where you can plant it straight on cement and sand and up on the roof, uh, but you only get a one-to-one -one yield. So best thing is to plant it on fertile soil. All right, gamers, that does it for our seven days to die farming video. I hope you appreciated this video and it showed you some good tips and tricks, especially the importance of prepping your dirt blocks and using fertilizer to get the highest crop output. Stay tuned to this channel. We've got some something special in the works for our subscribers. Check us out on Facebook and check out our website at theubernoobs.com.